Well, we are here today at the most magical Goodwill in all the land. We are in Avondale. <laughs> you have to say it that way. Um, we're about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So here we go. Well, Dagny and I split off and went our separate ways as we normally do at this Goodwill because there's just so much ground to cover. I went to the left into the metals section and I found this clock. This was not something I'm familiar with. I know quartz can be iffy, so I decided to set that back down. Occasionally, I will find silver here, so I do check through the silver-looking pieces just to see if anything catches my eye. In this case, I didn't see anything. Here, I noticed this dog, and I thought that it was really cool. It was super cool, but it was resin and it weighed probably about 10 pounds. It was very large and I knew it probably would have cost a lot to ship. Since we do auctions when something costs a lot to ship, it usually dissuades bidders. So I usually avoid large items unless they're exceptional. This right here is a Scentsy piece. I know a lot of you probably know what Scentsy is. And I have been looking for a warmer to buy them new. They're like $85. This was only four. So I decided to grab this because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy one new. Uh, there is some damage there, as you can see, but I'm buying it for myself. So that really doesn't matter to me. I like that one. And apparently it's discontinued. So there, there is some desirability there. I liked the glaze on this mug, but I did not sense a whole lot of resale value there. This bowl right here was curious and I was just not sure of it. So for $1.99, I decided that I didn't want to have any regrets. It could be fire and light. It could be something special. I have no idea. So I did put this in my cart and decide to look it up later which I forgot to do, so I ended up bringing it home with me. These plates had been here the last time. They have a windmill on them. They obviously have some age. However, I don't think they have a very high resale value because there's just an odd number of three. I noticed this blue calico style picture here. On the bottom, it looked to say Andrea of Sadik which is imported, and then I found this. And this is a rare color of Cambridge glass. You can see the remnants of gold around the edge. It was $6.99. The color is Helio Lavender, and uh, it's a, just a beautiful compote. It's worth upwards of $50, and so that went right into my cart. I was very pleased with that. I usually look through the baskets and I am not an expert on baskets by any means. You can see that there are a lot of Easter baskets out right now. Nothing really catches my eye. Wait, there's this, which is not a basket. This is just a pyrography scene, um, possibly from Mexico. You can see they're wearing sombreros, maybe even selling sombreros, it looks like. But I really liked it. I thought it was neat and I decided that I would grab that. My birds are saying peekaboo. I don't know if you can hear them in the background. It's one of their favorite things to say. There were a few little shoes here and I liked that there was four of them. That makes it a collection. And so I considered it because there were four, but inevitably I left them there. And I went for the Lefton Rabbit. These Lefton Rabbits do have a good resale value, especially during the holiday. Easter holiday. However, as Dagny would later point out, that rabbit's ear had been glued back on. So there was damage to that and I ended up putting it back on the shelf. A lot of the times those rabbits will have their ears glued back on. So you do have to look very closely. I was interested in this stack of books and you could see there is a secret drawer in the stack of books but there was a lot of tears on the edge of them so I wasn't really interested in those this candle looked to be art glass but there was a warning label on the bottom 
kind of do like that wreath. I wish I would have taken a closer look at that. This had a fused glass side to it, and I like fused glass. I usually take a peek at that. The glaze of this vase attracted my eye. And you can see here, I wasn't sure if this was a hobbyist piece or if it was a studio piece, but I really liked the glaze of it. I thought it was retro, it was cool, it was boho, and I liked it. We've got some mud men here. Unfortunately, this gentleman seems to be missing his fishing pole. And this lady has a chunk out of her book and so that was disappointing. A lot of the times these med mud men are missing something or something is wrong with them. Uh, some of the older mud men can have value. However, there are a lot of newer reproductions of mud men. So it's just, it's good to be aware of that. Now I saw all of these. And at first I thought, well, these are interesting. I could bring these home and Juliet could paint ornaments and we could give them to people and that would be fun. But then I realized that these were actually already painted and that uh, somebody must have had them for sale and then just donated the entire stock to Goodwill. I'm not really sure what was going on there. They said Montana on him. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to sell them as they are or if I'm going to let my children paint some of them and then sell the rest of them. I did grab two bags and then I ended up putting one bag back. Uh, I thought they were neat. I liked the wood and I thought they would be perfect for Christmas. Dagny found this and I still I can't remember who she said this was. I don't watch TV. It's like a, a running joke with all my friends that Jocelyn doesn't know who anyone on television is because I don't watch TV. Uh, but she was very excited about this. And apparently it is a Chia pet. I mean, she's not really a pet. It's a Chia creation of some sort. <laughs> she found some Nimaji pottery here. It is marked on the bottom. It's just a small little vase. This is Chokin. It, um, it's a popular collector's item with that gold. This was beautiful. I absolutely loved this. So that's what Dagny found. And I showed her my ornaments. Look what I found. I found these. <laughs> she liked the vase and she did point out the bunny. Much to my disappointment. Yes, it wasn't a terrible repair. It was actually pretty good. A lot of the times the glue is yellowing and globby, but the glue on that was not the worst I've seen, but I did end up putting it back on the shelf. Typically they'll sell for 12 to $15 and it, with a repair, you're looking at that being cut in half at least. So this bottle, I did look at the bottom of that and I was not impressed. This Alabama mug, I liked the colors on it. Dagny found a little turtle dish and it was adorable. I liked the three dimensional turtle. It was likely a little trinket dish. It went into her cart. Now, I always look at these coasters because sometimes they are sterling, sometimes they are silver plate. I looked them over and it was very, very faint, but in this case, they were silver plate. I have found sterling coasters here at this Goodwill, and nowadays with the prices of sterling, it's worth looking. So this was $2.99. I absolutely loved the texture of it, that beaded texture. Unfortunately, I did notice the chip there on the edge, and so it went back down. The shorter ones are typically relished. The longer ones are usually for bread. These little wine glass markers were adorable, but I use stemless wine glasses. I had to check what was in this box because it looked to be a vintage box, but the box was empty. It's a very disappointing box.
these little teapots were curious. And the reason I was attracted to them was because there were a pair on the shelf. And a pair is a collection. So I looked at the bottom. There was a marking there. They were obviously decorative. They were little trinket boxes. They were not intended to be used as teapots. But I tried to look them up and I couldn't find any comps on them at all. And so even though they went in my cart for at least a minute, I put them back when I couldn't find anything on them. Sorry, little teapots. I'm sure someone came around who really enjoyed them. I did slide this into my cart when no one was looking. I liked it. It was Fifth Avenue Crystal. I believe it's made in China, but I liked that faceted look and the texture of it, and so I didn't really care that it was made in China. I thought it looked nice. And there is some nice glass that comes out of China. Dagny found this. This is the pendulum to the clock that she found a few weeks ago, and we were trying to improvise the pendulum. It wasn't happening, but today she found the pendulum to the clock, so it was a very exciting day. We were a little worried they weren't going to sell it to her because there have been a number of times where we've found something without a price, and they wouldn't sell it to us, but today they got us a price. It was $1.99, and all was right with the world. And that was a very cute cat for $1.99. A little foil cat in a basket. Very 1980s. This bunny caught my eye. It was very cute. I suspect it was resin. It was a heavy material, but it was not chalkware. And I also liked this basket. They looked nice together, but not nice enough because I ended up leaving the basket behind. It was very light in construction, and I like baskets that are sturdy. I like sturdy baskets. Then I found this, this entire box of Mexican folk art pottery. I was super excited because there were mugs, there was a teapot, there was a sugar, and I think there was a vase in there too. It was just this whole shoebox full of goodness. And there didn't appear to be any damage in there, but it was really hard to tell because everything was just taped all together. I believe the entire box was $12.99, but that was a great price for all of that. So very thrilled with that. I also ended up picking this, this up, which probably surprises a lot of you. But I know a lot of my viewers are really into lighthouses, and I usually walk right by them. I think because at one of the churches my dad was a pastor at, everyone gave him lighthouses, and it was just a thing. And so I'm desensitized to lighthouses, and I walk right by them. But today was the day. I liked this one. I imagine it looks really nice when it's lit up. And so I, I got the lighthouse. I think it'll look nice. I also liked this mug. I liked the glaze of it. It was kind of a sea foam, maybe even a celadon. It was like a greenish blue, but very, very light. And it was a good mug. I like art pottery mugs. I thought this one was nice, and I stuck it in the cart. I'm trying to avoid buying single mugs, but occasionally I'll find a mug that I just can't say no to. Like this mug. It was 99 cents just kidding I ended up leaving this one behind because I'm saying no to single mugs <laughs> oh gosh I can't follow my own rules is what the problem is this was a nice piece I suspect that this is uh, made in Japan it was probably worth eight to twelve dollars so I did not buy that Then I spotted this. Oh my goodness. I spotted this. And I was so excited. It was $3.99. The mark on the back looked to be Sitzendorf. Sit yeah, Sitzendorf. Um, however, I'm not sure that's the mark because upon closer inspection, it's a double crossed line. I don't know, but it's very old German porcelain. It is absolutely stunning. I've tried to research this. I cannot find any comps on this it is amazing and I suspect it is just a little trinket dish it's probably my favorite piece of the day besides this just kidding I left that behind it had a chip on it <laughs> Dagny found that this fish ruler 
and it was very interesting. I liked it. I tried to convince her to buy it, and I'm not sure if she ended up buying it. But if you're interested in anything Dagny bought, you can find it linked down below in the Shop With Our Friends link. As we were walking by the textiles, I noticed this. And I've been steering clear of textiles ever since we bought $800 worth of quilts just because we were inundated all at once. And there was something about it that I really liked. I'm not sure if it's machine made, I'm not sure if it's handmade, but I liked the contrast of the colors. I liked the black, the green, that peachy color, and I had to have it. So I made my way to the purses because I've had pretty good luck with purses here at this Goodwill. I've gotten some free people purses and some lucky brand purses. And I decided to check out this purse because it looked to be leather of some sort. However, I think it was synthetic. And then there was a dog. A very, very cute dog that appeared out of nowhere. It literally turned around and there it was. And it was the sweetest thing. I tried to buy it. It was not for sale. <laughs> it was so sweet. Okay, back to the purse. Um, the purse was $4.99. I did not recognize that name. Granted, I'm just now trying to get into buying and selling purses, but since it was not a brand that I recognized immediately and the, the material of the purse didn't seem authentic, I decided that I would put it back. Hopefully, I didn't make a mistake. I'm sure if I did, you'll let me know in the comments. <laughs> And then I will never make that mistake ever again. Just throwing that one on the ground. There we go. There are some Vera's there, but the price on the Vera's is a little bit too high. I'm always nervous because I don't know the patterns well enough to know which ones to buy. I found this quilt as we were heading up towards the checkout and I did like the patterns on it. I'm not sure necessarily if it is hand done. It looks machine made, but I liked it and I liked the personalized note on it. It was $10.50. I thought it was a nice child's quilt and why not? I mean, we've been selling a lot of quilts recently, so... Oh, maybe that's not a quilt. Now I see the little the little rings there. Maybe it's not a quilt. But in any case, I liked it. That was a maternity skirt, but I liked the pattern on it, so I had to stop and look at it. These plates up here get me every time. They are Finlandia by Myatt. And there's just something about the pattern that reminds me of that old blue and white pattern. And uh, I'm not sure what the resale value on the Finlandia is, but I decided to group these a little bit closer together on the shelf so they would be purchased all together. The eagle picture made me think of Andrew, but I thought, you know what? He does not need that. I don't even know what he would do with it. He's got enough things with eagles on it. Now he's on to collecting strictly Gettysburg items. Dagny came to me with this interesting item. It was $1.99. It was Railway Something Station. I suspect that it is for a notepad, possibly, but it was an interesting piece. It had the Reading Railroad on it, and uh, for $1.99, I felt like that was a pretty good deal. Then I found this artwork hiding there on the bottom shelf. And it was very curious. I'm not sure exactly what is happening in this scene, but it was interesting. There are chickens and there are people and then there are like a woman with her child walking through this chaotic scene. So um, it's interesting and it's painted on cloth. I can tell that it is painted on cloth. But it, it was nicely framed, and uh, this is probably the second or third piece I have found here at the Goodwill who ha that has that same framer's sticker on it. So I just bought this because I found it interesting, and occasionally I will buy artwork that I find interesting. 
Now, as we were leaving, Dagny found these two Halloween figures. I believe they were made in China or made in Taiwan, but I really liked these. I liked that they had a primitive look to them. They were really cool. So she found those and those were hiding over near the toy section and she got a wooden basket there. You can see. I found some shoes that are a, f a little big, but it doesn't matter. They're comfort shoes and they were brand new. So I can just slide those on to run out to my car and not have to worry about having to put my Converse on. They are perfect. And I'm very pleased with my, my nice new shoes. So there you go. All right, well, our total spend here was $111. I feel like we got some really good stuff. I'm excited for that cloth, that painted cloth. I'm not really sure what it is, but it looks interesting. So I'm excited about that. I feel like we got some good pieces and um, I'm excited to see how they do on eBay. So on that note, I'm gonna get out of here and I will see all of you tomorrow, later.